here. This was uh, my recommendation. I took a look at it and said, yeah, well, let's I'll see how this goes. But, okay. Pottsville parents react to sexual assault arrest of district teacher slash coach. But the moral of the story is rape is rape, no matter what. I mean, there are women that do try to groom and make rape women. Yes, there are full-grown cougar milk women that sodomize and rape underage boys. Check this out. School district teacher charged with sexual assault with a minor, leaving her behind bars tonight. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock, everyone. I'm Bob Quasi. And I'm Laura Monteverdi. Meredith Hill, who goes by Lindsay, sits in the Polk County Detention Center where she awaits her bond hearing on Friday. Gary Burton Jr. joining us now live from Pottsville with more on this. You're at the high school there where they uh, where Hill taught, and there was also a district meeting tonight, not specifically about this, but this was brought up somewhat. <laughs> Yeah, with a first degree sexual assault with a minor arrest of seventh grade teacher, Meredith Lindsay Hill was not on tonight's agenda. This meeting was about millage extensions, but I was able to speak with parents as they were headed inside about the arrest, and they just say that they can't believe that this happened. Lindsay Hill, a Pottsville seventh grade science teacher and head varsity tennis and softball coach, sits inside a jail cell after being charged with sexual assault with a minor. This is lasting damage for that student, whether he knows it yet or not. This is a bad situation for our kids, uh, the families of the school district. These parents are at Pottsville Junior High for a district meeting to discuss millage extensions. And there, a clear message was made by Superintendent Larry Duggar. This meeting is solely about the millage extension. We will not discuss by answering questions about anything that's going on Superintendent Duggar says Pottsville School District will do the right thing involving Meredith Lindsay Hill. Some parents say the district dropped the ball. There's been accusations going around for over a year that my child is aware of, and nobody's done anything. And if the administration knew something about this before and didn't do anything, then I think that there should be some firings going on here. According to reports, in 2022, there were nearly 350 public educators arrested on child sex-related crimes in the U.S. I know that they do background checks on these people, but maybe it's time for some psychological evaluations to go along with that. We need to see what's causing this. Multiple agencies are investigating Hill, including the Arkansas Crimes Against Women and Children Division, who notified Pottsville Police on Friday, January 13th. Parents say they had to find out through social media. That was very wow. frustrating that we aren't privileged to know this and that they didn't take the courtesy to call the parents and say we are aware of this and we're sorry that this has happened on our watch. And Hill will have her bond hearing on Friday, January 20th via Zoom. Live in Pottsville, I'm Gary Burton Jr., KRK. <laughs> you know, here's the thing as well, too. Some people, they, you know, people, people want, you know, like if it, like, yeah, if it was a guy, you know, sleeping with a seventh grader, you know, girl like that, or a teacher like in the third, like that, you know, everybody would come out with their pitchforks and axe and burning to the grindstone like that. But it's funny as how people laugh, like, oh, isn't that cute? A 30 something year old woman, you know, getting relationship, getting, she went a little felicia with a 14 year old boy. The bottom line is, look at the law of the statistic. The statistic. Doesn't matter if it's a 14 year old girl or boy, they cannot consent to sex. It's the law. And it goes back in the day and age and 90s. Mary K. Letourneau. Alright, I'm out here, my child. Peace out.